Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mine Zealous's version two algorithm the most efficiently on every 30 series GPU and 40 series GPUs. If you're new here, first welcome, and then also let me introduce you to my 30 series test rig that I'm very proud of. On it, I have the A2000 3060 3060 Ti, 3070 A4000 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 12 gigabyte, 3080 Ti, 3090, and 3090 Ti. I also have a 40 series test rig, not pictured here. And I'm gonna show you the performance and the hash rate and the overclocks of all of those cards right now because that's what you clicked on the video for. So let's not waste any time. Pause the video, input this into your mining software or operating system of choice. And you're ultimately gonna be 95% of the way there to be mining the most efficiently on Zealous. If you wanna get that extra 5%, you gotta stick around because I'm gonna teach you how I got here and why there's a 5% variance is because even though you might have the same make and model of GPU that I have here, they have different silicon within the GPU die. So they can perform just a little bit differently. So if you wanna get to that full 100%, I'm gonna teach you exactly how I landed on these overclocks to get the most efficient performance out of all of my GPUs. Now, I'm a home miner, so I need to chase efficiency, which is the most amount of hash rate for the least amount of power. But I'll also teach you in this video how to get more raw performance if that is what you're seeking in Mining Zealous. And I'm also gonna show you something that was very curious that I ran into in mining this algorithm with these overclocks, which is why what you see on the screen here might be very different than what you see typically posted on the hash rate websites or even within the Zealous community. And I'm gonna talk through that as we go through the rest of this video. But we are here talking about Zealous, the world's first block DAG with privacy, speed, scalability, and smart contracts. And in this video, we're doing their latest algorithm, which is Zealous version two. The first version of the algorithm started getting mined by FPGAs which happens, and then ASICs would have been right around the corner, and they didn't like that, so they made a version two algorithm. It's memory hard, which is friendly to GPUs, and should fend off FPGAs and ASICs. If you want to mine Zealous, there's a bunch of pools to do that over on miningpoolstats.stream, uh, and then also it's on NiceHash. As of a few months ago, their version two algorithm is supported on NiceHash, so uh, what you can do is mine that directly with the stratum, which is what I was doing with all the testing and then again paid out in Bitcoin. But back to the performance on all of these GPUs, what you'll see here is very impressive performance from the 3060 Ti, 3070, uh, very, very good GPUs that I'm sure most people watching this video have. But the 40 series GPUs are also doing incredibly well. Though what you'll see is they have either less or around the same hash rate as some of those 30 series cards, but because the power can scale so much lower, they're getting some more efficiency. So not as much hash, but because lower power, they're able to get some more efficiency. And that's just because of the make of the GPUs, the memory bandwidth on the GPUs, um, etc. But the king continues to be the 4090, coming in with the best efficiency score and the most hash rate as well, with 48.41, uh, only at 130 watts, and then that gives it a 370 on the efficiency scale. So if you want to see, here is the 30 series test rig live right now. Been mining with it for a few hours. Don't pay any attention to that A2000. That thing is literally probably on fire right now, so you gotta figure that one out. Those cards run really warm unless you have some external cooling. And then here is the 40 series rig, also running right now, uh, doing really well. And you might get a little bit of performance uh, differences based on the moment, what the fan speed are, what the ambient temperature are. So these are all averages that I've pulled in mining with this for quite a while. So what you'll notice is that I'm using a memory lock. You'll see that over here in the mining software. I'm using a memory lock, which you can also see, I'm gonna pull up that 30 series rig right here using a memory lock. Now, back to if you wanna get more raw performance, don't use a memory lock, use a memory offset instead. Really go plus 1000 and then push your memory as far as you can. It's gonna take a lot more power in order to do that, but you're gonna get more hash rate 
if you do that. Though, if you're chasing efficiency, what you want to do for sure is lock your memory at 5,000 or 5,001. You can pick either one. The GPU will know what to do. And that's going to save you a ton of power. Now, from there, what you want to do is lock your core. And we're going to go into this in depth because this is one of the curious things I found with Zealous. So you're going to lock your core, and this is locked pretty far down compared to other algorithms or what most people might be running within the community. I mean, you can see even a 3070, I'm locked down at 1140. 4090 is locked down all the way at 2100. This is pretty odd to lock all the way down, but I tested this over weeks, and this is absolutely the most efficient performance to get out of this GPU. And I think I uncovered what might be happening here. So let's take a look. We're gonna use this 3070 as an example. And uh, what we'll do is we're gonna head over and we're gonna pull it up in the shell, okay? So let me log in here. Now, as it's running right now, I'm gonna put in this command, which is NVIDIA-SMI-Q-D voltage. And I know that that 3070 is GPU number five. And I'm looking at the millivolts here that it is currently performing at, which is 681.25. This is gonna be related directly to the amount of power that this GPU is pulling. And it's doing that, again, when it's running at a very low core of 1140. Now, what you'll see is a lot of people will run these cards much higher in core. So let's go ahead and change this up and look at how that millivolts performance might change in comparison. So you'll see a lot of people run this at like a 1470. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust there. And what they'll do is they'll use a core offset, which will reduce the voltage. I'm not gonna change that just yet because I wanna show you how that millivolts uh, changes and uses a lot more power. And then we're gonna go back and do that. So you can see a 1470, there it is right there. And what'll happen here is that the power the GPU is pulling is gonna go up pretty dramatically. It'll take a little while, but to prove this point, I'm gonna run that same command again. We're gonna look at GPU number five, and you can see it's bumped up all the way to 806.250 millivolts, which means it's taking a ton more power, which will keep climbing in this mining software, which is drastically reducing the efficiency of this card. But what you'll see people do is instead they're gonna run that 1470 and they're gonna put a core clock offset in. And I was doing the math and like to get right back down to where I was running this at 1140 means I should probably do a core clock offset of 330. So let's go ahead and apply that and then we're gonna wait for that to take effect in Regal Miner, which is by the way, the mining software that you wanna use, I forgot to mention that with NVIDIA in mining uh, Zealous. I'll leave a link down in the description below. So now you can see, got that 1470 core lock, 330 offset, the power is coming down. So let's go check where it's settled at in the voltage here. Again, GPU five, right back in the same position as when I was just using a very low core lock at 681. 0.250. What I have found here is you can get around the same performance, same efficiency with either one. Though in testing this all day today, I have found you get just a little bit more efficiency if you lock the core all the way down versus using the core offset. Let's recap this a little bit. The first thing you want to do is take a look at your GPU's memory. If you're going for the most efficient settings, you're gonna lock your memory either 5,000 or 5,001. Just pick one, the GPU will know what the right one is. If you're going for the most performance, raw performance instead, you're gonna do a memory offset. Maybe start around plus 1,000, go up in increments of 100 from there until your GPU crashes, then back off a little bit. You just found the maximum memory performance of your specific graphics card. Once you've done that, it's time to address your core lock. My gift to you is a starting place. Use the core lock I have on the screen right here and then go up and down in increments of 15. That's how core locks work. While you do that, what you're looking for is the efficiency number of your GPU. If that number is getting higher, going up in value, you're getting more hash rate for lower wattage. That's where you wanna go. 
If it's going the opposite way, it's getting lower, well, you gotta pause and reassess. Once you've done all that, congratulations, you found either the most efficient or most performance out of your GPU for mining Zealous. And throughout this entire video, I've been using Hive OS. If you have a dedicated mining rig at this point and you're still on Windows, well, it's time to move over. And that comes from somebody who put it off for way too many years. I'll have a video on the screen right here how to install Hive OS, get started and get ready and get going today. Please let me know any other results that you get down in the comment section. Otherwise, please take care of yourself, each other, and I'll see you in the next video.